That's Robert. Yeah, thanks, Mario. This is a, um, an interesting comment, which I also feel the same way about. Uh, this reflects the um, university um, uh, situation in Germany and, I guess, European-wide. Uh, we get um, not the same pay and um, uh, titles for that reason. Um, um, that is, um, um, uh, let's say, in line with our activities that we're doing. So, like you said, think, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I've initiated the, pro, uh, the project Open Next, um, and and uh, we are coordinating it at TU Berlin, which uh, is, is is also um, therefore my main responsibility as project management. Um, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm a research assistant or associate at the Technische Universität Berlin. I have been so for five years. And uh, today here, uh, I'm presenting the, uh, about the project Open Next. Um, uh, uh, our motto is to transform collaborative product creation. Um, and I'm very happy to be here at the FOSS Asia Summit that you invited us, um, Mario, um, because you're part of the project Open Next. Um, uh, of course, it, it makes uh, sense um, for us to come here um, uh, because of the PS Lab and to also give a wider context um, uh, what we're doing with the PS Lab right now um, uh, project. And, 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 and yet again, um, yeah, I want to uh, mention that um, this project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme under grant agreement number 869984. So we are European funded uh, for three years and we are right now in the middle of it. Um, so uh, still way to go. Um, and the next one and a half years uh, uh, will definitely be very exciting. Um, and, and I, wa I want to say a bit uh, uh, that, that really um, my introduction is, is much shorter now because Eric Pan has said already so many things about open source hardware just now in this great talk. Uh, Eric, if you're still listening, I think it's um, really nice um, how you uh, brought in the, the, the idea of the tech smith and how that leads to diversified devices, devices uh, or a higher diversity of devices uh, by everyone for everyone. And uh, I think this is, these ideas are way ahead of time. Um, I think the Shanzai model is really unique. Um, and in Europe, let's say, um, we, 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 we like to think of ourselves sometimes as being ahead, but I think that um, we, are, we are also just at the beginning here uh, of a great journey. So um, let me introduce you a little bit uh, what I mean by that. So uh, I have a small agenda. I, I want to talk not more than 10 minutes, and, and maybe we can have a bit of a discussion, Mario, if it's okay, um, uh, and, and, and more deal with questions. Um, so, I feel that uh, uh, Eric gave all the background, but um, um, I mean, the thing is that what open source hardware does um, um, uh, is, of course, uh, just to reiterate it, um, it, it is hardware for which a free ride of any use belongs to the general public and whose documentation is completely available and freely accessible on the internet. So, this is from a definition of a German Dienstweg, um, uh, which is a, a, a quasi standard. Um, and um, yeah, it's of course started a long time ago, the open source uh, movement, and uh, in the mid-2000s uh, or early 2000s, um, it really transitioned into hardware um, with uh, Arduino and other projects, um, and, and I think the Seed Studio actually being also uh, uh, heavily involved um, 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 also uh, from an early time. Um, and, and now we see that even, even cars and, and other um, objects um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, many things that people can also produce themselves um, uh, are, are, um, are being shared on the Internet and, and developed in a collaborative way a lot of times. And this is, this is new and this is exciting. And um, we are researchers, um, so why, why, why are we, how, how did we get there? Why would we be looking at this? Because existing theory doesn't really cover um, this, this, or it's not really, you can't really use it in this uh, uh, sphere, yeah? So we need new theory uh, in a way. Yeah, uh, I have a background in industrial engineering, uh, like you said, Mario, um, and I, I, I want to say a few things um, uh, how we how we came to to make this project and what this project is about, um, because it's 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 somewhat engineering driven, but uh, let's say maybe a new engineering. Yeah. So Open Next focuses on encouraging and supporting small medium enterprises. This is very important. Uh, to unleash the, the potential of open hardware through engagement in collaborative open design of products and services together with hub labs and makerspaces. Um, 
and and I, I think the idea of the tax myth uh, that Eric mentioned is really strong, um, and 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 we're trying to bring this in with FabLabs and Makerspaces, particularly um, in actions in, in the Open Next project, who work with companies or SMEs and take them into the open source development ecosystem. Yeah. Um, so, and 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 this is um, uh, important because there is this this maker economy as well, and and makers can can really bring in a lot of knowledge. Um, and um, uh, but also they can activate together with the company consumers to work together with them, um, and um, yeah. But but the open source development ecosystem is much wider. Um, it also uh, involves education and research, especially, um, and hopefully also public policy makers. Um, there's an exclamation mark by chance behind it. Um, uh, uh, wake up and and we can also um, interest them. And there are many other actors. And but but what we are trying to do now is that. There are really new collaborative design processes emerge that have emerged here uh, and are emerging further. Um, uh, so we're researching that. And there are new business models that, ha that have to be established and, and properly understood. Um, and, and I think there is a lot already uh, on the ground that's happening. But this, this, this is something we're studying also um, uh, to, to understand it really and document it. Um, there is um, a, a great need for, for ICT infrastructure and especially open source tools and open source tool chain for hardware development. Uh, I think is a great vision that the FOSS Asia and, and also the Open Tech um, series uh, uh, um, of, of events uh, um, uh, could maybe be a great platform to, to um, um, uh, also interact on that. Um, and I guess it's already doing that. Um, and yeah, moreover, of course, prototyping and action, right? So, so they're products, they're not software. Uh, open hardware deals with products. So, so prototyping and testing and and, 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 and getting to, to also understand what, 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 what kind of documentation do we need, what, what are product success. In the end, we want to have open source hardware products um, and, and they come together with services a lot of time, like I said earlier. So this is the background um, and we have uh, four simple project goals. We want a wider, wider adoption of open source hardware. We want to enable FabLabs to support companies, which is a very particular um, idea in this project. But we also provide IT solutions for open hardware development. And last but not least, we want to document all the journeys of overall 18 SMEs by the end of the project. PS Lab um, or OpenTech is one of the companies involved. Um, um, so this is uh, partly why we're here because of this great partnership, uh, which I really thank you for, it, Mario. Um, it's been working very well for the last one and a half years. But we have also five other company partners. Um, and they're all small, medium enterprises. Um, and they're very different, actually. Yeah, and and, and some of them, um, uh, yeah, um, are established. Some of them are less established. So we're also dealing with startups that are focused on open hardware. And I, I want to say that who are really the target companies? We, we we think SMEs are quite interesting because they have the flexibility and the, the interest a lot of times, and also they they have a background where they 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 actually um, can. Um, understand um, uh, the, the, the needs better maybe of, of open hardware development, um, whereas corporates uh, are having troubles to integrate open hardware development back into their structures. So, so that's where we see like the low hanging fruits. Um, and and I, I also want to point towards an article of uh, Lars Zimmermann uh, from the factory who, who, who yeah, actually published this just um, uh, um, uh, uh, on his blog a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago about activist companies, which I, I added to his own logo. Um, he means social entrepreneurship, the common good economy, NGOs, makes the, the Make Sense Network, which some of you may know or may not know, but it's pretty interesting, um, and many others. And, and, and all these can be activated for open hardware development, and this is a real mission. Yeah. Um, so we have different pilots, and I just want to give two pilot examples in practice. So um, uh, just and, and, and also tell you a bit about the ICT solutions, just to give you um, a, a few samples of what we're doing in the project. So um, the first pilot example is the uh, fiction or future factory, which is being repainted, as you see below. And this is about starting an uh, uh, open collaboration with the Vag uh, in Amsterdam in fiction factory. Uh, who are now calling themselves Open Future Factory, and uh, to make products or a product out of factory wood waste. Yeah. So, so the idea is to that they started with open calls in in October, 
um, um, uh, to hire a creative maker and they formed a, a different uh, uh, teams, yeah, community team, feedback team, business teams, and they're, they're, they're really involving commun uh, uh, consumers, uh, makers and clients uh, 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 with these teams. Yeah, so, so this is um, the screenshot is some uh, 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 weeks ago that I made it or even months. Now it's even uh, there has been much more activity. This is from the Wikifactory page uh, where, where anyone can join them. And the second example is about uh, co-creating models for the world's coolest sustainable and open source, I'm quoting, with Sticker and Anderbrunn in Copenhagen. Yeah? So Sticker's last death is made from sustainable materials and designed to be upcycled. You see it uh, in the photo. Um, and I will, when I share this, the slides, you can also press on it and, and get to a great article describing this better. And there are three, three plug-in slots that you can see on the uh, end of the table. Um, and, and, and they can hold a variety of desk accessories. And now the idea of this collaborate, open collaborations is with designers and producers, um, uh, um, uh, these access, accessories will be created to fit the plugin slots. Yeah. So, but um, basically there's a professional team um, and they, they want everyone, yeah, lay people, but also people who have a few interesting experiences to come in. Yeah. Um, it's not just for, for producers and designers to join in because you can have your own desk and you can um, put this um, at home in your own desk and you can also tinker with it. So this is these are just two examples and I, I think Mario uh, maybe in the Open Tech Summit soon I could talk about other examples. Um, um, these were just we have three industries. Um, one is uh, 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 consumer electronics, uh, one is um, eco-friendly mobility and one is um, uh, uh, what I just showed you, build to order furniture. So, um, like one of the goals is also to, to create um, ICT infrastructure in OpenNext. And uh, so we, we have been doing so on a social product development platform, Wikifactory, which is another great partner of ours. And um, in Q120, um, there was a great effort by uh, the second partner involved here heavily uh, leading this, is the Fraunhofer. Um, uh, IPK here in Berlin, and they've been making user stories of collaborative engineering needs for open hardware. And now um, they are developing four categories of platform features for interoperability, documentation and guidelines, community management, so to find skills and, and allocate them, um, and to collaborative for collaborative production engineering. So these are very, let's say, um, uh, clear MVPs that they've de de defined there, um, and I guess it would justify another presentation to, to give real details on that. Um, but uh, maybe we can just wait for, the, for while the year is progressing and then we will have the open hardware tools also, some of them, um, as open soft, software and others of these tools partly will also be implemented on the Wikifactory page. Um, so just to give an outlook, so current dynamics really in our running six pilots in Netherlands, Denmark and Germany are promising. Um, we have a graph database also in progress I want to mention from the Fraunhofer IPK together with the Wikimedia Foundation that will connect open source hardware modules across different platforms. Um, and this will also be, uh, it's called the LOSH, yeah, uh, L-O-S-H, it's on GitHub uh, under our project account. And yes, last but not least, um, yeah, I, I, I realize the time is over, so I thank you uh, for your for your time and, and listening to me. And uh, yeah, maybe we have still some time for one or two questions, Mario. I hope I didn't overstretch the time. Okay, yes, sure. So thank you very much. Uh, These were quite a lot of details, and I see a question of Harish. Harish, would you like to ask your question? Sure. Um, my question has got to do with the. Uh, the, the fact that you mentioned uh, BIN has got a standard for open source hardware. Um, I'm actually very pleased to read that they actually did state it as a standard. Uh, do you know if that has been made available to ISO or IETF so that it becomes a global standard as well? Thank you. Yeah, um, great question. So uh, we, we have been, um, or we're closely involved with the team um, and have been participating in it as well from the start. And to make this dean spec, um, we there, there have been some attempts with the IEEE, uh, but their open source um, uh, board was was somehow uh, the OSCOM it was called um, was uh, uh, didn't was discontinued I believe. So um, yeah, they're they're reorganizing and we're trying to to uh, 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 to uh, uh, keep in touch with them and, and and have already pitched it to them. 
Um, this, uh, uh, the, or um, let's say the initiator of the DeanSpec startup was also in, in, in the OpenX project, uh, Martin Hoyer. Um, and and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think this would be really the logical next step. Um, the startup is available open access, so they could see it themselves, but, but I guess we have to push for it and, and we will. Have you tried the IETF for that matter? No, maybe it's something looking forward, uh, uh, looking towards. Okay, ISO, thanks. ISO, by the way, ISO we find very complicated, but, but yeah, no, I, I yeah, I mean, I, my, I, my apologies for suggesting ISO. <laughs> That's a painful organization to deal with. Yeah. So I rather work with uh, you know organizations that have got a clue. Even for that matter, you know, W three C. If if I don't know where the where the overlap will be, but anything that is open. Uh, that has their uh, content and standards made publicly available for easy download without having to pay for standards. So I think anything like that would be very useful. But Absolutely. BIN being part of the national body represented at ISO, they may have different challenges. So mm -hmm. <laughs> they may not be able to do that uh, with uh, non, uh, to, to, uh, to work with free uh, standards bodies. Yeah, yeah, no, totally agree. Yeah, well, I, I think we look in that direction. Great, great uh, a hint. Thank you, Harish. Yeah, and I just want to um, also connect here Hong Fook um, because um, she has been in uh, discussion with the IEEE and um, I think Hong Fook, you're joining one of their uh, organizations. So maybe that's something to align to. Do you have some information? Yes, so I was just appointed last week. Um, to um, to be on the um, uh, center associate uh, board for for open source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got the appointment last week. Right. I'm also looking forward to to work together with them in the future. Yeah, this is great news. So um, actually, then you you Martin Hoyer and I we should set up a call. I think uh, uh, fairly fairly soon about this. Great news. Sure, <laughs> I did not announce this yet because just got it uh, last week. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, we definitely should connect. Yeah, yeah. The good thing is we've already pitched it to them before this OSCOM, OSCOM board was uh, dis dissolved. So, so yeah, I think we we we, we, sh we should be able to to pitch this again and and refer to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent to see us having connections on many different levels. So, uh, Robert, I, I think there are a lot of things and uh, that we could talk about more. And uh, we will be having uh, events in the upcoming months that we can share through our networks um, uh, dedicated on some of the topics. And, um, yeah, I would like uh, to invite you also to our discussion room here in the event. So if anyone has more questions and would connect, maybe check out the discussion room for the next few minutes um, or other, other ways to contact you. Uh, yeah, actually, there, um, there's mainly my email account, I'm afraid. Um, uh, but but really, um, um, you can also just call me on the phone. So, the um, uh, on 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 every uh, on our website and and I think also on the uh, um, um, slides, I will put my phone number and it, it's put through right uh, to my mobile. So I prefer, uh, let's say that that. Yeah, either write me an email or, or and, and I set up a call or just call me on my phone uh, because I'm really happy to speak directly and, and make things concrete. Okay. Excellent. Um, or we can also use Big Blue Button now. So thank you very much uh, again. And uh, um, we appreciate uh, that you shared insights uh, to Open Next and uh, what's going on in Germany and the European Union and how we're making connections around the world. So um, then uh, we this session is over and um, I will hand over to Mr. Marco. Marco.